Hello everyone. When Lucifer entered our lives back in 2016, it seemed like a typical TV show with a moderate budget. There was lots of action, adventure, witness, and a slow burn romance that every TV watcher loves. It was okay, but certainly not spectacular. Even the fans of the character who have been following his journey through the DC comic series Lucifer Morningstar were skeptical about the end result of the series. Don't get us wrong, it wasn't bad by any means. But it wasn't great either. However, as we continued to watch, we realized that something was addictive about this particular character. As a quite overshadowed DC Universe character, Lucifer was never a major hit among the fans. But Tom Ella's acting perfectly captured the character and made us feel as if he was truly alive. We were so hooked on him that we were willing to visit Los Angeles to see if he truly had a club. He was charming, funny, dashingly charismatic but also childishly naive at the same time. However, his biggest plus for sure was the fact that despite being an ethereal being, he was just as vulnerable and broken as us. His story, which was known to us all since the beginning of time, was never heard from his perspective and this show provided this opportunity. So suddenly, the devil who was thought to cause all the evil things in the world turned out to be a poor son who never got the chance to be loved by his father and was often treated unfairly. His loneliness and lost nature came through the therapy scenes, which were weirdly accurate representations of the real therapy session, and we couldn't get enough of them. We still cannot believe that for years we witnessed the demon get therapy for what his father has done to him. So soon after, the show has become one of the ultimate favorites that we were obsessed with. When it was canceled by Fox, we thought we were going to lose it. But then, Netflix came to the rescue and Lucifer got the chance to be released for three more seasons, only to be concluded in the fall of 2021, which was a shame. We believe Lucifer still has the potential to continue for multiple more seasons and have a time difficulty in acknowledging why would Netflix give up on such a popular and profitable series. Based on the audience reception and the comments from the cast members, our hopes are still alive in regards to getting a season 7 for the show. That being said, we don't think Season 7 will be anything like the previous seasons of the show. One thing that's left out in Season 6 was Lucifer's experiences in Hell. Towards the end of the season, he realized that he has a lot of duty in the Hell to cure the doomed people, so that the humanity would get the chance to be saved. Thus, he made the difficult decision of leaving Chloe and their daughter behind and moved to the Hell. In the show, all we got was a huge time jump that witnessed Chloe being old and dying so that she can meet with Lucifer in Hell. But what about Lucifer's adventures in Hell? Don't you think his journey to the scariest place of all time is worth watching? Well, we absolutely think so. And therefore, we believe Season 7 of Lucifer will come in the form of a spin-off series that's focusing on Lucifer and Hell and how he treats the poor souls. In a way, we will witness Lucifer providing therapy sessions this time, which is crazy. If our theory is right, we expect Lucifer Season 7 to be released around September 2023, which would provide enough time for the showrunners to prepare for the spin-off series. What do you think about Lucifer? Would you watch the series if it's set in the hell this time? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.